Today we're going to take a look at Bigobot. Bigobot is a new bot that can interact with your Twitch. It's kind of like between a chatbot and the Ormbot, which is like a little bit more complicated, but this is supposedly a little bit easier to work with. I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm super curious. So let's just take a look at it together. So to access it, you need to be like a tier 3 subscriber on their Patreon for now, because it's an alpha. If it gets in beta, you need to only uh, be a tier 2 subscriber. And if it's out, I believe it's free or it's just a dollar or something like that. But for those who are interested but don't want to pay because, you know, you don't know what you're getting yet, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. So if you subscribe to the Patreon, you will be able to access that Discord server and you will get the Patreon role like you see here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, search for the right channel. I believe it is alpha release here. I will have to blur out this link because otherwise you guys can already get it. But I'm going to go there. Here it asks for Mac or Windows, what well, we're on Windows, so we're going to install that. And uh, the latest version, 0 0.36116, that's the one we're going to try today. And we're going to download it. And we're opening the file, run. So I got Discord on the back again because, you know, that hurts my eyes a little bit less. <laughs> oh wait, what? This is good. This is not the right thing. I don't... Wait, what? This is Google Drive. What did I do? Okay, wait. I wanted to download this. <laughs> uh, download? A right click download? <laughs> I don't want to download it. It downloaded like Google Drive. But you know, that's just browser based as well. Yes, I want to download it in any way. Okay, now it's actually downloading BigCubot. <laughs> Hopefully. This is the BigCubot installer. Okay, yes. Uh, only installed for this particular user. So this is just the users on your PC. My name is 322 on here. Uh, but you can also do it for all the users on your computer. So that's just has to do with Windows. And then just next. Finish. It's gonna run now. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna make this big. Because that's, you know, less distracting, I guess. Um, let's see. The first thing we probably want to do is go to settings account. Authorize streamer. Yes, we want to do that. And now we need to log in. I might or might not have forgotten my password. Okay, so to connect it to your OBS, just click on connect here. You need to make sure that you have the WebSocket installed because this seems to be connecting to the WebSocket. I will leave that underneath in the description for those of you who don't have that yet. But you just connect your streamer account here and your bot account here. You make a bot account by literally making a second account on Twitch and calling it your name and then bot at the end. And then you just log in with that account. Unfortunately, I, I forgot my password. So that's kind of annoying, but normally you can just Log in with your Twitch here and log in with your bot here and you should be fine. So like now for my chat, this will be empty, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's look through it anyway. Let's go to triggers and commands. So these are things you can do with just chat commands. So let's make um, an OBS trigger, for example. Now, if we do exclamation mark game screen, what we can do is we can set this to be source switching. Um, uh, scene, scene change you can switch to gameplay game screen here switch and now if you would do exclamation mark game screen it will switch to your game screen but everybody can do this at the moment so if you want permissions we can set a permission here uh, for only moderators to do it and now moderators can switch my scene my gameplay scene if I forgot to switch to the gameplay scene, if they see that, you can also set it on broadcaster for yourself. So maybe if you're running OBS and um, the bot, Binku bot on, an, on a computer and you're playing on um, in another room on your, your PlayStation, you could do that via your mobile phone. But you can also set it so subscribers can do it or followers, non-followers. Um, but with this, I would say like keep it a moderator because switching scenes is something, yeah, you, you probably don't want everybody to do. What we can do is we can do other things as well. So let's check out what other OBS things. Source visibility here, for example, if you would do um, full webcam, this is just my normal webcam scene, you will see a lot of different things. So we could say memes. <laughs> uh, now toggle. Toggle back. If this source is already in toggle to the state, ignore this mode. Toggle back after uh, 20 seconds. So what it happens now is somebody triggers this, this meme, and after 20 seconds it will be toggled back off because then they can re 
retoggle it on again. And you can just make beam. <laughs> and then this will go on in that scene. So that's a way of doing it. There's a test button here. You can test it like that. A save button. So that's uh, our last one didn't get saved, but now you see this one got saved because we clicked on the save button. But there's so many different things as well. Sounds. Choose a file. You can make sure that people can trigger a sound alert by typing in the chat. Um, randomizer. You can have them randomize a number or head or tails, maybe. Um, rock, paper, scissors. Something like that. Text to speech. You can have people do a command like um, hello and then uh, let the user say the message that they type after hello. So they do exclamation mark hello and then say hello, how are you doing? And then the text to speech will say hello, how are, you, how are you doing? There's so many things. So these are all with commands. So if we save this as well, you can see that this will be a second one. But you can also do this with timers. Timers are a little bit different as, than commands because timers don't get triggered by people, but they just get triggered on time. Um, so if you want to add one, here it's a timer name, you can name it whatever. And then here, every one second, this will trigger if one person said something in chat. So if we make this 100, then it will trigger every second after 100 people said something. It can be the same person that said things 100 times, but like 100 times somebody has to have sent a message in your Twitch chat. I would recommend setting this on minutes instead of seconds and making it more like 5 or 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise you're gonna get crazy and something like five chat lines is a little bit better and then you can set the same things you can even switch your scene every five minutes for example <laughs> um with this timer command as well or you can have tts text to speech say something to you every five minutes for example make sure to drink or make sure to stretch or something like that then here we got another one this is for channel points so the same here we can add any of these things same as with the commands and the timers but this time it will re respond to them reclaiming a channel point reward so you need to make sure that you put the channel point reward that you want them to claim the exact name the title of that command you need to put in here and then um, you can trigger all these things with the channel points as well. Now you've got some hotkeys here as well that can help you. So you can set these up. Um, you can even connect them by putting a hotkey here and putting a hotkey button on your stream deck. In this way, you can do them with the stream deck. And then you've got mod modules here, but I'm not sure what this does. Like I said, I haven't watched anything on the bot itself yet, but I was like really curious what kind of bot it is they're currently in alpha so they're adding so much more if you look at their discord you will see that they keep adding things the whole time so if there's a feature that you really like yourself and you want to recommend it definitely do that in their discord server because they they, they listen to if a lot of people saying something that they want to say something they're gonna add it obviously but like i said in the start of the video i'm giving away access to three people to this program if you want to be one of them leave a comment on this video why you should win plus a method for me to reach you either your twitter instagram or twitch name so i can send you a dm with the code via one of the dms because on youtube for some reason you can't dm people which is really annoying so i need to have a, a method of reaching you and then i just put everybody who has entered inside the randomizer and three people will win <laughs> Exciting, right? Binkabot, thank you so much for giving me access to your program to just like look around and see if, what you can do and if it would be helpful for people. I think it's a lot easier than uh, Leo on board. Uh, it's kind of sad that I forgot my password. I have like my password saved to my other computer and uh, it automatically logs in on this one, but I don't know what the password is. <laughs> it's like actually like it's just logged in, okay? I don't know what the password is and I'm like super afraid to log out now because if I log out then I need to reset the password on every computer it's logged into and I don't feel like doing that. You know what I mean? Right? You, you got those moments. You got this through this whole like did you forget your password kind of thing and it's really annoying. I always get annoyed by that at least. For those of you who want to get some free stuff, I've got a gumroad and on my gumroad I have a lot of cool stuff like these emotes. So I want to like show you all about it in this video for free Among Us emotes. See you there.